Hey everybody, it's Josh here. I have got a very quick but super handy tutorial for you here, and it's not Divi related, it's not WordPress related, it's not even technically web design related, although this little trick has helped me and my web design business and my sanity uh, dramatically over the years, and that is how to circle or highlight an item in preview on Mac. So the idea here is if you have a screenshot or something visual that you wanna send to a client, something you wanna highlight, there's a lot of ways to go about it. I do this very effectively with the program preview on Mac. So this is directed to just this program, but the method and the idea here that you'll see, you could use no matter what program you're using or if you're on PC, and using a different program. So for example, let's say you're working with a client and they're like, hey, I wanna be able to turn on emails whenever a client posts on my blog or comments on my blog. You could very easily just write them an email and list it out, although I have found that clients, particularly those who are a little more visual, still get confused. WordPress, if it's new to them, you can tell them to go under settings, discussion, then under email me, and then you could tell them to select this. But a lot of times what I'll do is this. In that kind of case, I will check this and I will do a screenshot. Now you could do a full screenshot with your browser. Word to the wise on Mac, you can also hold shift command four and you can do a targeted screenshot and you can basically draw the shape of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do pretty much this whole thing, although you could just do a section of the browser window. So we're gonna take a screenshot. Okay, cool. And then I've got that on my desktop. Now let me drag this over so you can see this in the window. And what we wanna do is highlight that little section and send it to our client. So I'm gonna do, going to right click and do open with, and then we're gonna open with preview, which is usually default on Mac. So when you open preview, it's, there's quite a few little adjustments that you can make and some really cool things. It's not really an image editor or a content editor per se, but I use this trick probably almost daily, at least several times a week. So let's say we wanna highlight where they want to check the question that they're asking about. So what you can do is you can go to the toolbar up here, and this may look different depending on what Mac version you're on. And then it's gonna give you several options when you click that open. The first thing you'll wanna do is go to your little shape icon here, and then that has a drop down with different shapes. So you can do arrows, you could do lines, circles, whatever. In this case, I'm going to do a circle and then I already have the color selected, but you could do any color you want. By default, red usually works out great. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna bring it right over here, and I'm just going to make a shape around this option right here. Easy peasy, that's it. And then I'll go up here to, which uh, you can't see this on the window, I haven't recorded my uh, full desktop, but you'll go to file, and then you'll go to save as, or you can export as a certain size. We'll, we'll go export. And we're gonna export this as, let's do a JPEG. And ideally you change the file name, but we'll keep it right there. And we can make this probably about medium since it doesn't need to be high res or anything. So now we've got a nice JPEG there that's ready to send to our client. And it's going to look like that, easy peasy. So this is the kind of thing that just saves so much time. You could still write this out, although I do this all the time. I'll take a quick screenshot of something. I'll highlight it with preview. Once you do this a couple times, you will be able to skim through this very quickly. And it's a great way to save some time. Now you can also highlight certain things too. For example, let me pull open one of my little PDFs here. We'll open this up with preview. If you wanted to highlight text from something, you can actually do that very easily with preview. You can go in here, highlight something, go up to this little highlighter. You can make it a certain color. Um, really cool things you can do with highlighting that way. If there's like a section of text somewhere that you need to adjust or you wanna to pinpoint to, towards a client, you can do that and then you can adjust it from here. You can make it green or you could take it off completely, super handy. So just a couple ideas there on how you can circle and highlight things with preview. Just a little bit ago, which is the reason I, I kinda got inspired to do this tutorial, was a client was asking how to export a PDF smaller for web. So what I did was I took their PDF that they sent me that was massive, I did file, I went export, and then what I ended up doing was going to the uh, filter size, and I did reduce file size, and then I took a screenshot, and we're gonna do this right now because I'm gonna show you what I just did. So I basically just took a screenshot of how I saved their PDF, and then I opened that screenshot up in preview, and then I just highlighted it. So watch how fast this goes. I'm gonna open up in preview. Let's click our little highlight button. 
I've got it all set. We're gonna draw a circle, put that right there, and boom. Then I can click save and it's saved to my computer and I can send this over to the client. So very easy. This is what I literally just did. Instead of writing an email out that said, hey, you're gonna want to open a preview. You're gonna wanna go to file, export, save as this setting. I can very quickly do a little visual way to go about it. You can always include text uh, directions as well, but this has been super handy, guys. This has saved me so much time over the years when I'm talking with clients. And I do this with colleagues as well. There's like a setting somewhere in WordPress or on a file or, or in Photoshop or Illustrator. I'll just do a little highlight. That little circle trick with preview has saved me a lot of time and I hope it does as well for you too. So hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope to see you on another tutorial soon to help you guys out with your Divi, WordPress, and web design businesses. All right, cheers.